we reviewed F26 books. One one we published, we hope that uh, in the future when they we publish other books, they will take into account.
participate or also parents or local government or already from ministers not not to talk but maybe to listen <coughs> to ask then, then you can uh, can get very good results mm -hmm. but I, I tried it several times on my students and it works every time it works so good that they go to home talking to their parents and that parents who must uh, giving feedback end of the school year, the last year marking living library is the best event of the year. They didn't participate in there. It's what forbidden they say standing behind the door. The, group, the, the students was inside and talking with the with the books, but the parents was um, success out of it uh, is that it happened in the context of uh, sharing um, background for educational program with the Inshallah's teachers. Educational program focused on responsible food consumption, but in a quite challenging way, uh, looking at this topic through a perspective of uh, the huge global challenges, such as like a, uh, climate change, overuse of resources, uh, pollution of soil and water worldwide, uh, all as basically a strong impact of current uh, food production and our like food consumption pattern. So basically um, connecting global, global challenges with, in a way, something we are contributing in strongly and asking uh, what can be done uh, around us locally so that it uh, contributes to a, a different actually setting. Uh, and. Uh, Despite the challenging framework, uh, I think we went through like moments of like kind of strong uh, interest and uh, excitement. So teachers not being uh, scared by how overload, overloading the topic could be. So that's uh, why I call it like connecting the dots uh, between different things that suddenly can make a much more powerful um, uh, impression and uh, basically, yeah, uh, motivation. <laughs> Um, can you use the words for the... Yeah, <laughs> connecting the dots. <laughs> Maybe. Connecting the dots as inspiration in the dots. Yeah.
uh, remembering <coughs> our history uh, uh, and enable global education practitioners to share information, materials, and challenges. So there's quite a big question there. If we could pass that back to you. Is that, any questions? Please, we to table? Yes, please. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we have faced so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all questions, all challenges clear. Just, I just want to add, because just yeah. for the sake of clarity, the thing is, behind this discussion is that my, my, my feeling is that we are somehow reluctant in making something more, how to say, concrete, you know. Not all opinions are, could be accepted, you know, because some opinions can become something that you know, if I'm going to be egoistic, it can affect me. I think that sometimes we have to, we have to uh, put on stand and say, this is good, this is not good, or this is wrong. Because I hope that you see what's going on in Europe, what's different kind of bad, bad mood, bad uh, atmosphere is going on, and I, I don't want to... Somehow I have a feeling that we are not, we haven't learned anything from this, and we are now still, you know, blindfolded about it. I think that we should do, do the, these things in school. That we should, you know, we, there are some values that Europe, I hope Europe is still standing for, and we should, uh, you know, promote them and stand for them. That, that's, that's the thing that. So, so the challenge would be to, to motivate people to share their values or to share to stand their values. To values. To no. out, stand up for their values? To stand for values because democracy demands bravery. We have to sometimes stand up and say, okay, this is not. So even if, if it's uncomfortable? Yeah. Or, okay, I, I think I understand. Yeah. Okay, now I think that's, and this is a particular challenge for global education at the moment. Okay, uh, we have sustainable cooperation focusing on assess assessment of the impact. So that's an interesting one there. People do like assessment, assessment impact. Um, how to get the real world into the classroom, particularly thinking about remoter areas. And then, yeah, finally. How to move from knowledge and understanding to attitudes and change of behaviour. Yeah, that's a really uh, key one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what we're going to ask you to do now is to decide quite quickly, because uh, the idea now is that you can choose which challenge you would like to explore further, both uh, to share, so is this a challenge for you? Challenge for you, uh, but also if you have ideas about how to address that challenge. Well, how to start people to be interested, active, and do It's a start. And uh, I just read it. Share information, no matter what. <laughs> Share information. And the, in any kind of inf information, even those information what is not, you, you think that it's not so good, but information is key. Uh, share topics and values. Uh, sometimes you need the provocative, provocative, provocative <coughs> beginning. You need icebreakers. Must find that. What's important for the people? Its importantness is very, very important because people uh, are are interested, active, and open when uh, these things touch them. Touch them. <laughs> it's a personal. We we don't do anything that doesn't talk with us. Mm -hmm. The connection between local and global. It's the same thing. Every voice is important. Everyone's voice is important. Find a channel where people are open, maybe in Facebook or in Twitter or in the corner of the street. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the shop. Yeah, find a shop 
in Estonia, where uh, in Estonia most of philosophers uh, uh, is behind the shop with a bottle of beer. <laughs> 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 and show, show the outcome. For example, in, in my family, one guy is graduated high school in Malawi who be supported uh, from the beginning to the end. And now I can share this uh, experience. this experience to the others to you let's put some uh to all oh. <laughs> knowing in everyday life and even uh, making uh, sure there are some moments of inspiration regularly present at the classroom it can be at the beginning or end of the day uh, just uh, sharing some commitment and not don't be afraid of big ideas even if uh, big ideas that can be present in the school at some uh, boards uh, supportive of the uh, understanding then we looked at the uh, a good experience with setting the short-term objectives, so that there is a short-term to uh, really check what we've done and what next can be done and just test it in practice, whether we, we can, whether we are able to do it and how does it work. And there's some check cross-cutting principles we found uh, that um, uh, there's uh, early like a need of a kind of enjoyment and uh, a good atmosphere uh, during the educational process that supports our connection uh, to the topic so that the teachers can as well like be done. Uh, touched, and uh, it's quite important to have teachers that, that, that are uh, really showing the model attitudes, not really <laughs> the opposite, and not uh, to forget about uh, the important role of the family and parents. Um, while uh, we basically work with the students, we may uh, even alienate, alienate them from the family background if the family values are different and. Uh, this is something to uh, pay attention to. Therefore, there were suggestions how to involve parents in the form of like organizing a breakfast for parents where they can be uh, involved in uh, debates for the main topics that are being right now uh, discussed with children, or making uh, encourage children to discuss with their parents at home a specific topic and bring back uh, information and share them with others so that they see what the diversity is present, which requires a lot of facilitation skills from the teacher to be then able to handle uh, the, the information well. So uh, I would say many of the pieces <laughs> putting together um, some mosaic. Um, 
hopefully I'm going to uh, let the truth change. Was the guilt, yeah. So right when we start to think about the change of from knowing to acting, there was the issue: what to do with the guilt? Uh, is it useful for us? Uh, yeah, is the guilt motivating, or is the guilt of, uh, totally, you know, blocking and uh, building the resistance? So that was really fruitful sharing. Guilt, shame, rather whether uh, work with a collective guilt to be sure we don't go for an individual guilt development. So very interesting. <laughs>